I'm not sure if you're familiar, there's something called the simulation hypothesis uh, <laughs> that's uh, been fun to talk uh, about with the computer scientists and so on, which is a, a kind of thought experiment that proposes that, um, you know, the entirety of the world around us is a kind of a computer program. That's a simulation and then we're living inside it. I think there's, um, I think from a certain perspective that could be consistent with uh, a religious view of the world. I mean, you could just use different terms, uh, basically. <laughs> uh, what are your, th but it's a, it's a, it feels like a more, um, modern updated version of that <laughs> but what is what's what's your sense of this uh of the simulation hypothesis do you find it interesting useful to think about it do you find it ridiculous do you find it fun what, what are your thoughts uh it's fun and it's been of course the subject of various movies <laughs> yeah um that that some of which are very well known yeah. um you know i don't think it makes sense to think of it as a simulation hypothesis in the sense that we're really lying in uh, banks um, of, of, uh, on banks of, of beds having our energy drained away from us um, right. and, and the simulation is going on in our individual brains. That, that makes no sense to me at all. I don't think that's what's meant by the simulation hypothesis as, as you're using it now. But I think that there is a... Um, there is very little distinction between saying that a, an intelligent creator has set up the universe according to his will and his plan and set it in motion and is al allowing it to run out. Maybe, as Christians say, he's sustaining it, actually, um, by his word of power, it says in the book, the letter to Hebrews. Okay, um, in 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 this amazingly consistent and um, integrated way, um, I don't think there's very much difference between saying that and saying that it's a simulation. <laughs> okay, I mean, I think it's almost the same thing. Okay, but I but I think from but I think it's important to recognize that. The simulation in that concept, the simulation and the creation or the, or the universe are the same thing, okay? Mm -hmm. In other words, it's a simulation, you know, that is billions of light years across, okay? Yeah. Um, I mean, there, there's a sense in which it helps one understand, especially if you're not religious, that there is something outside of the world that uh, we live in, that there's something bigger than the world we live in. Um, and that, I mean, it's just another perspective on, uh, that humbles, humbles you. Um, so in, in that sense, it's a one powerful thought experiment. One shortcoming of that is, is the following is uh, of the, of the analogy is this, that we think of a simulation as something take, taking place in the universe. Mm. You know, when we, it's, it's taking place in my computer. Okay. Yeah. I don't think that's the right analogy for, um, a Christian view of creation, okay? I don't think it's taking place in some other universe that God has made, okay? I, I think it, maybe it's taking place in the mind of God. Christians might hypothesize also. But I, but I think that, that, that it's important to recognize that Christian theology at, a, at any rate is that God is not one of the entities in the universe, and and presumably, therefore, is very different from a simulation that we might run on a computer. 